right. What is going on, Spreaker? Your podcast, Pastor Rick Rowley here live on the air, second service. Oh, we're live, my friends. I'm live uh, for our audio part of the podcast, my friends. Oh, I said I was going on. No matter how late it gets, what I got to do. But uh, yeah, friends, hello, we're here, I'm here. Anyway, just came off of YouTube about an hour or two ago. And uh, got the fireplace going in our VIP studio here. And uh, jumping on for our second service podcast. Even though it is Tuesday a.m., my friends, it's still Monday second service because uh, we got a whole new day this morning, today, this afternoon, 4 o'clock, friends, early podcast, uh, getting on uh, just... Just because I want to uh, get on a little bit earlier than uh, scheduled. And, uh, Summer's here, and there's no... All right. Summer's here. What? Really? Hey, what's going on, my friends? A worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Rick Rowe here. We are on the audio speaker and Podbean, uh, my friends. Second service Monday. Technically going into Tuesday, but... Who's counting, right? Just to get that message out. Hang on. All right. Hold on here, friends. Amen. All right. Give me a second here, friends. Let's get going here. Amen. All right. There we go. Podbean.com. Uh, technical issues, friends. Hang on. <laughs> well, let's get into our message, friends. My gosh, boy, do I have a lot to cover. Uh, one episode is just not enough, my precious friends. It is just not enough time. I, uh, have so much more to give you and so much to share with you, my precious friends, that, uh, oh, I had to jump on here, uh, again to, uh, continue this message as I take a look, uh, at, uh, where are we at here? Uh, as I take a look in 2 Corinthians, recapping uh, for 2 Corinthians here, friends, we're going to go into uh, chapter 13, last one out of the book, and then, uh, oh, I'll, I'll know where to go, friends, because the Holy Spirit will lay it on me and say, this is where you need to be, amen, so just in the mic, now I put the the other mic back, uh, friends, uh, the other, uh, you know, the other shock mount, the bigger one with the, the other shock mount on it. Uh, you know, because like I said, we're stepping up this podcast, we are stepping up this message, and, uh, you know, we're trying to be as professional and as, uh, um, I don't know what you call it, but uh, professional, I guess. Uh, to uh, continue to get this message out and uh, just step up our podcast, step up the mission, and uh, improve on the upgrades. So, uh, friends, stay tuned. Hang on, hold on. Oh, because we got lots to lots to go and lots to do here, friends. Oh, we got the the uh, fireplace uh, cranked up. It's a balmy or not balmy, but uh, I'd say oh, it's a crisp. 60s or something like that. It's it's cool, friends. It's cooling down as we head into the month of September. Uh, so yeah, let's get going, friends. You know how I always do it. We're live at Spreaker, live at Podbean.com, and uh, glad to be here a little after 12:30 a.m. My friends on the Pacific Mountain Time, and uh, yeah, well, just gonna <laughs> keep. Getting this message in you or to you out there. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, friends, uh, we're here live. Uh, don't forget. Now, I am going to be continuing in the book of Hosea. Uh, the, um, the minor prophets, friends, as I continue to keep doing that. 
Uh, so we're taking a look at the book of the books of the the twelve books of the minor prophets continued into that message, friends. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, I got I got a fresh brewed cup of coffee. Uh, fireplaces crackling, ready to go. Amen. And we are in the studio tonight. Uh, this morning, actually, I keep forgetting it's not night. It's actually in the morning now. <laughs> Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed your Sunday, friends. I hope you uh, had an enjoyable, relaxing weekend. I hope you went to church Sunday morning. Uh, Because, you know, that Word of God is important, my friends. It always is. Now, I ended up, uh, like I said on the last podcast, I ended up uh, re-injuring my ribs. I had two broken ribs last summer. And, uh, well... You know, even though I trust God, I completely give it over to God, of course. You know, by His stripes, I am healed, my friends. Uh, I just, uh, you know, it's been uh, plaguing me. It's been a real pain, and I have not uh, completely 100% healed. Uh, But I am healed. I am healed by His stripes, and I claim that. But, uh, you know... I, uh, I've been just kind of rusting it out over the weekend. I did a Saturday podcast and then ended up jumping on. I think I waited Sunday and rested. Um, and uh, then uh, jumped on uh, just a this, this couple hours ago. You guys can catch that uh, in its full entirety over at YouTube. Of course, all the regular uh, podcast channels and... Uh, Networks, <laughs> hey man. Well, so so anyway, that's what I was talking about. Uh, well, I I re-injured my ribs again, so I definitely needed to rest yesterday. I stayed in that word. I soaked in it and uh, reclined in the spirit, my friends. And oh, it was good. And then uh, you know, as I was sitting there today, going over my notes again. Oh, you know that pesky devil. Well, I guess Monday, but uh, is. <laughs> That pesky devil was like, nah, forget it, brother. Nobody cares. Uh, you you don't need to keep doing these. So you're just wasting your time. It's a hobby, brother. It's just a hobby. Well, like I said, after about two seconds of that, I said, uh, nope, Mr. Devil Dude, get behind me, Satan. You have no authority. Uh, amen, and uh, it's a good thing I don't listen to that defeated foe, my friends, and that's the way we got to look at it. Uh, don't get into our, our five senses, don't get into our, our self, uh, tell that self, hey, nope, 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 don't do it, uh, <laughs> friends, so uh, yeah, so I got on it, I, I got back on focus here, we are in our second service tonight, like I said, this morning, and uh you know, uh, it depends on the weather and the Wi-Fi connections. Again, always have an issue with that. Uh, Blog Talk Radio is having some technical issues, so uh, now we're probably going to go ahead and step up the uh, upgrade the next to the next level on the podcast, my friends. Probably next week, so stand by. But uh, yeah, so that's how my Sunday went, my friends. Did a little bit of yard work and some. Uh, resodding and uh, oh, did I overdo it? Oh, 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 no, wait, did I overdo it? So I got to sit and read my Bible and just be in my notes, amen, as I usually am and always do. So, uh, yeah, so I'm hitting it, friends, I'm hitting it back uh, again. Uh, and I appreciate you guys at YouTube, that is awesome, blowing it up over there, over 4,000 views there my friends now i just got to get them subs up uh you know i have been uh doing this full time for the for the past like you know for for uh four years i and uh oh it's a blessing friends like i was talking about on the other podcast i it's a blessing to be in that word of god friends it's not a task Uh, you can't look at it like oh like I said on the podcast, I already talked about this. Uh, like, oh, I got to be in the Bible. I got to. Oh, come on. We love to be in the Word, friends. We we have to be in that Word of God. Uh, it keeps us from the tumults of the world. <laughs> Amen. 
Well, my friends, let's just get into it. No time to waste. I put the devil on the shelf, and uh, oh, I got my my big book of love, books of love, actually plural or plural, yeah, plural, not singular, plural. All right, and uh, cup of coffee, uh, highlighters, pens, papers, notebook, tablets. Ah, uh, take a deep breath. Welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Uh, uh, Grab your cup of coffee, your big book of love. Friends, we are live. I'm live. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, Let's get into, uh, like I said, the last chapter of uh, 2 Corinthians. Friends, I'm kind of recapping. So I'll jump over to the NLT Living Water for those who thirst. Because, oh, I got a lot to share with you there, friends. And by the way, uh, if you... uh, you know, if you don't have uh, an NLT, go ahead, friends. Uh, email me Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com. I would love to get you one, and uh, with the chart of the Old and New Testaments, uh, it's really, really cool. So, you know, and always, friends, we are always taking donations, and uh, for the ministry, you guys have we have our PayPal open and available, and also any one of the podcast sites, channels, networks, and pages worldwide. Uh, you know, we want to keep this this ministry going. I want to keep the uh, upgrades coming in. The channels cost money. We had one that just jumped up. Uh, you know, I, so I want to keep those going. I want to keep this message. Uh, you know, if you're if you're looking for a place to just study in the Bible and in the Torah and uh, KJV, King James, of course, you know the different Bibles I use. Uh, well, you're in the right place, friends. And like I said, if you'd like to, uh, you know, if you'd like to keep uh, uh, keep this, you know, this help this ministry out, friends. You know, that's all. I uh, we I'm still gonna podcast. Oh, I'm still gonna get this message out, but. Uh, You know, because God has always provided a way for everything. And He always will, and He always does. uh, As as long as we we keep Him first, friends, uh, for sure. Uh, Don't uh, get into ourself or, or, uh, you know, walk in the flesh, my friends. Amen and amen. All right, getting a couple of notes uh, taken care of here. All right, well, what are you doing, you Guys, what are you doing uh, tonight here, friends? Uh, amen and amen. Well, let's get into a Bible study for, uh, for our audio second service, even though technically, like I said, even though technically it is Tuesday morning, uh, well, <laughs> anyway, I wasn't going to let the devil uh, fool me or lie to me again. And, you know, tell, I know, don't get on there. Nobody cares. Well, okay. <laughs> so, as he says, and uh, as the as the word says in Second uh, Corinthians chapter twelve and verse nine, and he said unto me, "My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness." Amen. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 11, 30. All right, friends, let's open up with prayer. You know how we do it, friends. We are ready. I am ready. I hope you're ready. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, you know, I glorify you. I thank you. I praise you. I honor you for uh, just everything. Father God, everything. You're our provider, our healer. And we need you. We need a Savior. We need to uh, trust in you and lean on you no matter what the situation might be or whatever the situation might come up. Father God, I need you. We need you. And uh, we thank you uh, for the day, for the breath, for everything, God. Just everything. We thank you. We glorify you. And I always want to lift up my family, my friends, everybody connected. Everybody can hear these podcasts and listen to these messages father god let something reach their hearts let something permeate their souls their minds their hearts whatever situation i uh, you know hardships whatever is going on in their life father god reach them 
Uh, as I always pray, uh, a prayer of protection, uh, Psalms 91, feathers of protection around their uh, souls, hearts, minds. Oh, God, just lift them up right now. Just lift them up. I, I claim it. I praise you, Father God. I, I lift you up right now and magnify you in, in your holy name. And in Jesus' name, again, I thank you, Father God. I lift them up. I, I praise them. I praise you <laughs> to lift them up. Amen. Oh, you know what's in my heart, God. I, you know, I'm so grateful to be on this mission, this task, this calling. Even though it might seem like a wilderness test. And, oh, I'm walking through the wilderness, Father God. But you are on my mind. You're on my heart. And uh, I need you. And I praise you. And I, I thank you for calling me into this mission, no matter how hard it gets or difficulties or uh, whatever, you know, situations I may come up against. Father God, I trust you. I lean on you and you pull me out of that muck and mire. Uh, Father God, you pull me out of that. And I, I thank you again in Jesus' precious name, the blood that he spilled for us. Father God, I trust you. I give it to you right now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. What's going on, my friends? Wait a minute. I think we need my church up in the house. Any blood <laughs> uh, Oh, precious friends. What is going on? Well, let's get going. No time to waste, my friends. Amen. It's time to preach the word. I know. I'm not saying that. <laughs> just throwing that out there, friends. I'm so excited about uh, just being in that word today. Uh, so let's go ahead, my friends. We better get the armor of God on. Full armor, friends. Full armor attack here tonight, this morning. Amen. All right, well, let's take a deep breath. Uh, I've got my uh, my box of new pens and uh, highlighters and stuff. I'm ready to go, my friends. Amen. All right, well, let's get my Bible here. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and close out uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13. Uh, amen. All right, sorry about all that rustling up here, friends. Man, so much to, so much to read. I am so blessed that I kept, like I always say, so blessed that I kept all my messages, my notes, uh, because um, you never know. I, I'm like I said, I I'm going through my this other set of notes here, friends, and it is amazing. Uh, pretty wild to go back and look at all those notes from years and years ago. But uh, I did. I saved them. And so that's, uh, well, you know, friends, like I always say, when you have the Word and you're in the Word and your Holy Spirit led, oh, He gives you plenty to do and plenty to look at. And uh, so I am blessed that I actually saved all that stuff. And now I can share them with you guys and hope we hopefully uh, build you up in your walk with God as it did with me, with my pastors, as they uh, shepherd and, and taught me and showed me. Well, I'm that's what I'm doing here, friends. That's why I try to like I've been trying to step these up and do these more often. Uh, besides the issues with the Wi Fi technical issues and and all that, the weather issues and all that stuff, friends, you know, I that's the only thing I, I you know, I, I keep trusting God, I keep throwing it over Him and, and give it to Him. Hey, you know, I, I, I give it to you, Father God, and uh. You know, and I claim it, and, uh, you know, so, I, you know, like I said, I'm just glad to keep, that I've saved all those notes, saved all those messages, and uh, that I can share them with you as I keep shepherding the flock here, and that's what my calling is, that's what I know I'm supposed to be doing, no matter how much I get into my flesh and want to walk away from this, it's not what God wants. Uh, friends, God wants me to do this. The devil wants me to quit. The devil wants to discourage us and make us stop things and, you know, throws a monkey wrench in your plans. 
uh, well, in your, in your daily walk, because he doesn't want anybody getting close to God. He wants us to be distracted and thrown off and discouraged and depressed and, and angry and, and in our flesh, in our five senses. Well, tell the devil to go back to hell where he belongs, my precious friends. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's got no authority. Come on now. He's been defeated already. He's a defeated foe. He's been paraded around. And, uh, well, he's just lost. I kind of feel sad for him. Only a little bit. <laughs> you know, he had his shot. He had his chance. And uh, because of his jealousy and, well, you know the story, my friends. So that's why we got to keep moving daily, friends. Pick up our, our cross. To cast down our nets. Toss down our nets or whatever you want to call it. Uh, pick up our cross and follow Jesus Christ. And, that's why, my friends, I have been, like I said, trying to uh, step up this podcast. Uh, and so, hey, you know, it's not always easy, but uh, it's well worth it, friends, as we just keep moving forward. So, you know, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I listen to my playbacks and watch my my uh, feedback and stuff on my, you know, my live uh, YouTube videos and, um, uh, but that's, you know, it's uh, something else, <laughs> good or bad, you know, I, I'm putting my faith into action. God said, step up, preach this good news gospel, uh, and do something with what I gave you, you know, and uh, so that's what I'm doing here, friends. That's that's what I'm trying to do daily. Uh, if not daily, at least every other day, um, try to hit all the channels, all the main ones, you know, and uh, <sighs> anyway, uh, do you have your armor on, friends? Are, are you in the book of Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, my precious friends? Are you? Because uh, that's where we're going, my friends. Amen. All right. Finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the full armor, the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of, this, of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, as we segue into First Peter 5. 8 and 9, my friends. Amen. All right. All right here. Give me a second here. All right. Just checking the monitors here real quick while I got a chance. Amen. All right. Hold on here, friends. Hold on, my friends. Amen. Looks like I duplicated my pictures, but I might have to switch that out. I forgot that I did that already. That's all right. All right, friends. First Peter 5, 8, 9. For your adversary, the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may destroy or devour. Well, that's it. that's why you got to keep your armor on, friends, all right? You got to put your armor on every single day. All right, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God and our Bible. Right? It is our Bible. All right. Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, 
that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And you can go ahead and go over to Romans 10, 9, 21, my friends. You guys are awesome. Did I tell you how awesome you guys are? Really? Uh, I do appreciate you guys so much. Well, let's take a quick look. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and close out, friends. Let's go over to your Bibles, uh, King James tonight, or this morning, again, as I usually am and do. Uh, chapter 13 in the good book of the Second Corinthians, friends, uh, the King James. Let's close that out. Uh, and then I'll, you know, I'll pray on it and uh, see where, see where we're at with that. Amen. All right. Oh, uh, mercy. I got smoke coming out of my chimney here. Uh, chapter 13. This is the third time I am coming to you. Uh, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time and being absent now I write to them which heretofore have sinned and to all other that if I come again I will not spare. Second Corinthians uh, one twenty three, And since ye seek a proof of Christ speaking in me which to you word is not weak but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God, for we also are weak in him. But we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. Amen. All right. Now, Again, in four, for though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. Examine yourselves, friends, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves, and know ye not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Romans 8.10 But I trust that ye shall know that ye are not reprobates. Uh, and now I pray to God that ye do no evil. Not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. Uh, for we are glad, let's see, let's go up to eight here. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the, but for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak and yet, or ye are strong and this also we wish, even your perfection. Therefore, I write these things being absent, lest being pre present. I should use sharpness according to the power which the Lord hath given me to edification and not to destruction. Finally, brethren, farewell, be perfect, be of good comfort, or comfort. Uh, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Greet one another with an holy kiss. Romans 16, 16. All the saints salute you, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Amen. Well, that's going to wrap that one up for this book of 2 Corinthians. Amen. Now, I'm watching my my stove. I got a little bit of smoke coming through. Uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, too much. I forgot to uh, kind of tape up a couple of spots, but... Uh, uh, I got the uh, fire pit kind of going just because uh, it's getting a little chilly in here uh, in the studio. So I've, I've got to keep kind of an eye, even though we just got into half an hour of the podcast. Uh, it actually wasn't uh, going too bad before. But uh, it looks like there's a couple little spots where it's coming out of. 
Amen, God. Amen. Amen. I trust you. You got this. So let's go ahead and jump into our uh, th- our shout out list, our personal thank yous, friends. Amen. All right. So let's see what's going on with our monitor here. Amen. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> friends, I may have to, uh, I may have to just jump up here real quick and, uh, go get my fan on, uh, because it's, uh, it's blowing a little bit of smoke in here, so, oh, mercy, it's always one thing or another, friends, so, uh, hang on here, friends, give me just a quick second, I'm gonna pause for a second, and, uh, see what I can do here, so give me a second, I'm gonna pause this. And uh, jump up here for a second and go see what I can do real quick. Uh, probably just turn the fan on so uh, it's breathing a little bit. But just give me a quick second, my friends. Hold that thought. And don't go nowhere. Hey, Amen. Let's get some music going on here. <laughs> had to go take care of that uh, apparently I, I missed a couple of things on there and uh, it did not uh, it didn't seal up right so let me get my my gear on let me get my my glasses here as we continue I'm gonna jump into the shout out list amen all right All right, there we go. We're live. Hold on here, friends. Oh, I got so much going on in the studio. I got that fan going. There we go. Uh, Podbean, you're going to get a little bit of a a break there uh, because I had to get all the microphones and uh, everything like that. Mercy, friends. Mercy. My gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to pick this up right where we left off, friends. Oh, I got more to give you, more to share. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a kind of a spotty uh, podcast here. I had to take a quick second uh, to uh, adjust uh, the uh, the stove. I got a, had a little bit of smoke coming through there, uh, through this pop of the stove. It looks like I'll be doing some work on it later today. And, uh, getting through us tonight so uh friends let me hit up the shout out list you know i always like to thank the pastors and uh, all the friends and stuff that are in there supporting this ministry uh around the world around the clock and boy is that cool amen all right so i got the other monitor back up i wanted to make sure uh that uh you know things were sounding good and clear 
is like I said, I I uh, switched back uh, the shock mount for the mic fil- or the mic, and I I put a new pot filter on it, and uh, you know, I, but that's okay. I we want to step this up, like I said, friends. We are stepping this ministry. Uh, up and uh, for sure uh, and uh, you know just uh, just trying to step this up a little bit better you know for sure we want to we want to make sure that uh, you know that we do I mean that's like I said I uh, I feel like it's it's an honor and a privilege uh, to do to get to do what I do to just to be in the word every day and and uh, kind of share this share this message for sure you know so why not you know god blessed us with these with the new uh mics and stuff and he uh oh he made it possible friends he made it possible so uh i definitely want to uh i definitely want to uh step this up for sure you know definitely for sure uh so all right Give me a second here, friends. I'm just adjusting something real quick here. And, all right. And, of course, so we're checking it out. Just upgrading a quick thing here. And, all right. So, my pastor's list. I want to make sure that we acknowledge our pastors out there, our shepherds, right? Amen. You know, and we're still praying, friends. Keep that prayer chain going. Don't ever stop. Don't let that stop. Uh, keep that thing going. And unbelievable. There was more after that that hit again. Uh, hang on, our channel's reconnecting. So let me see what's going on with that. Looks like our Wi-Fi is disconnecting. And... Now's the time to travel and be with the people. Can... All right. Well, there we go. It's time to travel, my friends. Commercials. Uh, so yeah, now listen, Trust Forgiveness Ministries in Toronto, Canada, Pastor David Lynn, well, I've been watching him for a number of months, friends, oh, man, what a, boy, he fights that, that battle, friends, and he, uh, he's just right in that battle, right in the thick of it all. You know, like I talked about before, friends, some of us are, are set to preach at a pulpit, some in a street, you know, a street uh, ministry. And uh, some of us are set, like me, um, my, my calling is to preach online. And that's what I'm doing here, friends. Uh, so, you know, but we got to support them, friends. I, you know, I check it out. If you get a chance, friends, uh, go watch him. Go check him out. Pastor David and we are praying for you here at our ministry. And you can always, you know, you're always welcome to email me here. I'd love to chat with you. Uh, in depth, I do have Skype and Zoom set up, so our conferences are any you know we're available anytime. Love to chat with you, Amen. All right, so listen, Pastor J. David Ford, his wife Rose, uh, and his Texas my CB and iTunes, Spotify, and more. K one ninety five point five FM, Power Radio, Internet Radio. We would love uh, friends. I recommend you guys go checking that out. Right, go check it out for yourselves. What a what an awesome channel that is. Uh, amen. Ah, uh, Pastor Rodney Francis Ministries out in New Zealand, We're praying for that country. You know they had that uh, shooting out there too. Oh, terrible friends, terrible. So we got to keep them in mind and prayers, uh, repentance, a message for the church, bringing that message back out, my friends. Oh, I'm not messing around uh, at all, friends. You know I'm not. I uh, Pastor Michael Holcomb, uh, Bible Days Ministries, iHeartRadio, more. Amen. What a good, uh, what a good uh, mission or minute um, message. There we go. Uh, that uh, he's got, friends. That is so awesome. Uh, of course, Pastor Oni out in Japan, my CBN friend for a few years now, sending messages and emails of encouragement uh, back and forth, and that's always good. All right. Well, listen here, friends. Uh, Brother Mark over at Facebook, the Christian watches of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses group. 
Uh, Mark, thank you so much for giving me a format to post these podcasts on. And I know, I hope somebody's getting it. Uh, you know, I, I wish I could uh, make them get it, but that's that's we got free will, and uh, you know, hopefully they get it. And uh, but I appreciate you putting that on there for me. Uh, I really do, and uh, I'll be sending you this one afterwards, here, friends. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Miss Jackie Periscope, Facebook Live, and Twitter Monday through Sunday. Always doing that midnight scope. Check it out, friends. You want some encouragement? Go check it out. Well, we we got our prayer request line all open twenty four seven anytime, uh, day or night. And uh, oh, friends, Amen. Miss Jackie, thank you so much. Of course, always praying, Miss Jada Franson uh, online. Uh, always keeping her in our thoughts and prayers, praying for her here. Uh, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries, Facebook Live, my friends, and YouTube. She does have a YouTube channel. Go check it out. Amen. Good word. Of course, you know, we got some new friends over at Ray, at uh, Spreaker, actually, right here at Spreaker. Radio PSN's out in Romana, Italy, and then we got Miss Jamena. Hanging out over in uh, Spain. That is cool. Uh, and then we got a new follower on there today. So that makes like 20 or something. Twenty. It's a small number, but it, it's okay. You know, God says, don't worry about the numbers. Just get the messages out. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to not get antsy about it, but oh, I love it. So I uh, appreciate that there. We got Miss Sophie out in Switzerland, my friends over at MyCBN. Miss Kitty struggling through the, struggling through it, but keep trusting God and keep giving it over every single day. You'll be just fine. And I'll talk to you in a little bit, my friend. Miss Midori over at Japan. Cool. That is awesome there. Twitter Persco Live. That is good. And uh, always, always, always keeping you in my thoughts and prayers there. Uh, of course, my sisters in Christ, Miss Carla for the use of a laptop. We got Miss Addie out in Nepal uh, joining me on the uh, Twitter channel. And uh, Miss Tish at Twitter as well. And so many more over there. Uh, Miss Nancy, Laura, Susan, and Christina on all the social media channels all over the world. You guys are amazing. And I appreciate you guys so much. And of course, you know, all the visitors family and friends on the network pages worldwide. I appreciate you guys too. Uh, you guys are awesome and I appreciate that support and the uh, encouragement. You know. Amen. So there you go, my friends. That is our personal shout out list for tonight, my friends. Amen. Well, before I get into the next Spot here, where are we at? Well, I want to go in and take a look real quick here, friends. We just got about an hour, hour or so here. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, but uh, a little bit of time with you anyway. Uh, receiving Jesus Christ into your heart, friends. Uh, Sinners proud of the NLT Living Water. And like I said, if you don't have one, please email me. Let me know what's going on. I'll make sure you get one, my friends. I don't know. Uh, we're setting up, uh, you know, this ministry to uh, with CBN uh, to be able to send all these uh, the Bibles and stuff, which we've been doing for a number of years. But uh, we're going to be doing that ourselves. Uh, you give us an address, email address, or some kind of contact or something with you or with us, friends, and we will will send you out a Bible. Uh, if you hear these podcasts, you get this. If you need one of these, friends, trust me, you need one. Uh, feel free to go ahead and get a hold of us. Uh, we would love to uh, get you one. And I'll get you a chart, too, a Bible chart. That's pretty awesome stuff here. Oh, uh, man. Looks like i got to put some more tape on my stove here. Got some holes in there. Uh, receiving Jesus Christ into our hearts, my friends. Uh, now, if you're ready to turn from your sins and believe in Jesus Christ so that you can receive the forgiveness of sin and the hope of eternal life. And go ahead and say this prayer with me, friends. You won't regret it. Amen. Now, God, I'm sorry for my sin. I turn from it right now. I thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sin. And Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and my life right now. Be my Lord and Savior and friend and 
Help me to follow you all the days of my life as your disciple. Now, thank you for forgiving and receiving me right now. And thank you that my sin is forgiven and that I am going to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, amen. Amen. All right, friends. Now, watch this. We I got another one for you here. You know, you probably heard this or heard this a long time. Uh, amen. Redirecting your life to Christ. Now, perhaps you are already a Christian, but you've strayed from Jesus Christ. You became a prodigal son or daughter. Now, God will forgive you right now if you return to him. And he tells us in Scripture, My wayward children, come back to me, and I will heal your wayward hearts. And you know this one uh, in uh, Jeremiah 3.22. Amen. Now, if you'd like to return to God and redirect your life to Him right now, uh, go ahead and say this prayer with me, friends. God, I am sorry for my sin. I am sorry that I've strayed from you, and I ask you to forgive me now as I repent of my sin. I don't want to live like a prodigal any longer. Uh, renew and revive me as I once again follow you as my God. Thank you for forgiving or for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, friends, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, such a great prayer, friends. Such a great, great prayer. All right. Uh, just trying to keep an eye on my stove here, friends. Amen. All right, let me get my window open a little bit get some air out uh so get a hold of me friends i'd love to share this with you i'd love to keep uh you know sending these out uh now i'm not done here friends i got a little bit more left for you now whether you prayed to make a first time commitment or a recommitment you have made the right choice the right decision amen god has forgiven and received you if you really meant it Know that your relationship with Jesus Christ, my friends, and watch this, will bring radical and dramatic changes into your lives. Or your life here, uh, describing this, the Bible says anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person, a new creature, a new creation. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5.17 is where you can find that in the good book. Now, that's great news. But more importantly, God has changed your eternal destiny. Instead of fearing an eternal punishment in a place called hell, which we talked about before, you will spend peaceful eternity uh, in his presence in heaven. Amen. And that is great, great news, friends. And uh, boy, is that good stuff. I love this book. And if you want one, like I said, uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get me get a hold of me, friends. I would love to get one out to you. Uh, we'll figure a way to do it, and God will provide it, friends. Amen. So yeah, there you go, stepping it up, uh, my friends. Boy, is that smoke bad, friends. Uh, amen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm just trying to burn off whatever's, whatever's stuck in that thing or whatever happens to be uh, clogging it up or something. I just wanted to burn that out for the night. And, uh, you know, I'll take a look at it tomorrow afternoon or later today and uh, get it ready for the cold coming in. Amen. All right. Well, listen, family, we're going to just go ahead and jump right straight into our uh, right straight into uh, our study here as I, I wanted to kind of go into my friends uh, go ahead and go into uh, let's see take a quick note here friends uh, take a look at uh, in the Torah uh, chapter 7 in the book of Hosea now I'm going into the I'm going into the books, friends. We're going deep. Uh, I wanted to make sure, you know, uh, as I was praying on, on the stuff, well, I told you guys the story before I 
you know, I don't want to talk too much about it again, but uh, as I was going into it, I was, you know, kind of feeling, hey, you know, I don't hear nobody talk about it. And then the Spirit says, hey, hey, you, <laughs> you do it. What are you waiting on somebody else to do it for? You go, you do this, you do this me- you do this message. So that's where I'm at, friends. And uh, like I always tell you, hey, if the Spirit throws something out at you, just do it. Uh, why complain about it? You know, what a great opportunity uh, to spend more time uh, doing the Word, in the Word, friends. And uh, that's what I, that's what I'm at. Amen. So, you know, because like I said, I never, I never hardly hear uh, anybody really talk about that. Uh, I never hear the scriptures, hear those uh, books come up. I just haven't. And uh, so, I was like, okay. Uh, so, there we go, friends. That's why I'm doing them. I'm doing the whole 12 books of the uh, of the Minor Prophets. And, uh, oh, we're going deep, friends, because I'm going into the Torah. Amen. All right. So, if you said that prayer, friends, well, you know what to do. Get a hold of me. Uh, leave me a quick message or, you know, not even a quick message, just whatever's on your heart, uh, whatever you're thinking about. And, um, I would love to, uh, love to talk with you and love to share uh, your testimony, friends. Amen. All right. As I was just checking it out, friends, before we even do that, amen. Uh, hang on here, friends. All right. Uh, I was reading. I was going through my notes here. I was looking at um, Romans twelve two uh, through twenty one, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, and be not overcome with evil but overcome evil with good. I always loved that scripture. I couldn't find it for the longest time and then uh, until it was pointed out to me. And uh, so now uh, that's, uh, you know, I, so I kind of go back over that myself and study that myself, kind of go back over and look at it and go, yeah. Uh, be not conformed to this world. We're in it, but we're not of it. So I uh, don't even think about it. I guess, I don't know, whatever that means. But, uh, you know, stay strong, friends. And uh, vigilant in battle, friends. You know, we're talking about spiritual warfare here, friends, right? All the time. You know, that's what made the main uh, crux of the uh, mission is of the podcast here. Uh, we got to stay strong because we are in a spiritual battle. It's every single day. And uh, we have to put on the uh, we have to put on the armor of God every single day and be in that word, uh, friends. So, uh, Amen. So there you go. <laughs> right. Now let me go back over just a couple of quick notes here, friends. Is my old notes now? I've did this already. Uh, pulling down your strongholds. Uh, now it starts out as, uh, and you know this one, friends, I don't use human plans and methods to win my battles. I use God's mighty weapons, not those made by men to knock down the devil's strongholds. Now these weapons can break down every proud argument against God and every wall that can build uh, to keep men from finding him. Second Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. Amen. Now, battles, weapons, strongholds, the word of God here is talking about a warfare, a warfare between Satan and the Christian. But the devil's plans are not secret. His strategy for attack is not hidden from us. Uh, Amen. Now, watch this, friends. Just a real quick recap in here before I get into the Torah. Uh, The primary place of attack by Satan is in your mind, friends, and your thought life. The area of your thoughts is the battlefield. It is here that Satan begins his battle. Uh, Amen. 
Uh, the area of your thoughts is the battlefield. It is here, friends, that Satan begins his battle with us. Now, if you lose the battle here, oh, he'll get you in a stronghold. And that wrong thought will get a stronghold on you. And you're headed towards defeats. Now, it is here that you have to be vigilant in battle by replacing that wrong thought with one of God's thoughts and pulling down that stronghold. Now, God's words are mighty weapons for pulling down that stronghold. Uh, fight off the lies of Satan with your sword, the word of God. Amen. Let your thought life be dominated by the word of God. That means knowing the word and using it to get to victory today and tomorrow and every single day. All right. Now, Satan may drop a thought in your mind. You have no strength to do combat with such a formidable enemy. And that is the time to shout out and shout back, my friends. God is my strength. Let me hear you, friends. My shield from every danger. As we look at Psalm 28, verse 7. Satan may try to tell you that God will not hear your prayer. Don't listen to it, friends. That's a lie. Uh, speak the word. Amen. The very day I call for help, the tide of battle turns. Amen. Psalm 56, 9. Whether or whatever your need, find God's word and use it to replace Satan's lies, my friends. Amen. Well, there you go. A little bit of recapping off that message. That's uh, I did that before. You guys can check that out on other podcasts. I just wanted to kind of bring that back up again and, you know, recap it. Amen. All right. Well, I'm praying and I'm hoping that I will uh, be able to get this uh, get this uh, stove fixed uh, because it looks like the pipe's going to need a couple little uh, couple little pieces of tape on it, some more uh, some more sealer tape on it, and uh, I'm going to have to get in there and get that fixed because that's not cool. That's not cool. All right, chapter 7 in the book of Hosea, friends. We're going to continue that Bible study here this morning. Amen. Now, uh, and I'll probably just go through a couple. I probably won't rush through this. Uh, it's pretty extensive, and there's a lot of scriptures in here. Uh, but I wanted to just, you know, a couple books and stuff. I just wanted to go through this here. Now, in chapter 7 in the Torah in uh, Husha or Hosea, now, when I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity, or iniquity, there it is, of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Shamaran. For they commit falsehood, and the thief comes in, uh, comes in, and the troop of robbers spoils without. And they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own doings have beset them about. And they are before my face, and they make the king glad with their wickedness, and their princes with their lies. They are all breakers of wedlock, as an oven heated by the baker, who ceases from raising after he has kneaded the dough until it be leavened. In the day of our king, the princes have made him sick and furious with wine. He stretched out his hand with scorners. For they have made ready their heart like an oven. While they lie in wait, the baker sleeps all the night. In the morning it burns as a flaming fire. And they are all uh, hot as an oven, and have devoured their judges. All their kings are fallen. There is none among them that calls unto me, Ephraim. He has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength and know, uh, knows it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knows not. Uh, and the pride of Israel testifies to his face, and they do not return to El Yahuwah El Ahem, or El Hayim. There it is. 
uh, nor seek him for all this. Uh, Ephraim in verse 11 also is like a silly dove without a heart. What? He's like a silly dove without heart. Mercy. They call to Mitzrayim. They go to Assyria. Uh, and when they shall go, I will spend my net upon them, or spread my net upon them. I will bring them down to the fowls of the heavens, and I will chastise them as their assembly was heard, or has heard. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me, destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. They have not cried unto me with their heart. When they howled upon their beds, they assembled themselves for grain and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do the uh, they imagine my, uh, mischief against me. They return, but not to El Elyon. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. They shall be their uh, derision in the land of Mitzrayim. Chapter 8, friends, let's go right on into it. Why not, right? Now set the Shafar to your mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of Yahuwah, because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my Torah. Uh, amen. Lots of news coming in. They have transgressed against my Torah. And Israel shall cry unto me, My Elohim, we know you. Israel has cast off the thing that is good. And the enemy shall pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princes, and I knew it not. Of the silver and their gold have they made them idols, that they may be cut off. Now your calf, O Shamaron, has cast you off. My anger is kindled against them. How long will it be uh, ere they attain to innocency? Innocency. I don't even know how you pronounce that. How's that? Innocency. There you go. Innocency. Try that yourself, friends. Try getting through that word. Amen. It's in verse 5, chapter 8. Innocency. There we go. You learn something new every day, friends, don't you? Uh, for from uh, Israel was it also the workmen made it there before or therefore it is not Elohim but the calf of Shemaran shall be broken in pieces for they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind and it has no stock the bud shall yield no meal it is so be it yield a stranger shall swallow it up Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the other people as a vessel, wherein is no pleasure. For they are gone up to Assyria, a wild ass alone by himself. I'm not making that up, friends. You know, I don't like to cuss on here. And I'm not trying to. That's just, it's in the Bible, friends. It, it verse, uh, where is it at? Uh, uh, verse 9, uh, chapter 8, friends. You read it yourself. It's right there. Uh, now Ephraim has hired lovers, uh, uh, yea, though they have hired among the nations, now will I go them, or gather them, and they shall, uh, sorrow a little for the burden of the king of the princes. Now, because Ephraim has made many altars to sin, uh, altars shall be unto him to sin. I have written to him the great things of my Torah. But they were counted as strange as a strange thing. They were. Uh, amen. All right. Microphone keeps uh, adjusting itself. Amen. I like the setup. It's good with the uh, uh, the net here. So. Uh, all right. Because Ephraim. Uh, Ephraim has made many altars to sin. Altars should be unto him to sin. I have written to him the great things of my Torah. Uh, amen. They sacrifice flesh for their sacrifices of my offerings and eat it. 
But Yahuwah accepted them not, or accepts them not. Now will he remember their iniquity and visit their sins, and they shall return to Mitzrayim. For Israel has forgotten its maker uh, and builds temples, and Yahuwah has multiplied fenced cities. But I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. Mercy, friends. So let's go, and we'll we'll stop at ten, friends. Uh, let's see. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and stop right there at chapter ten. But let's go ahead and do nine here, real quick, here, friends. Can we do that? Can we have a Bible study, my precious friends? Amen. Rejoice not, O Yisrael, for joy, as other people, for you have gone a whoring from your Elohim. You have loved a reward upon every corn flower. The floor and the wine press shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in Yahuwah's land, but Ephraim shall return to Mitzrayim, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria, and they shall not offer wine uh, offerings to Yahuwah, Neither shall they be pleasing unto him. Their sacrifices shall be unto them as the bread of mourners. All that eat thereof shall be polluted for their bread. Uh, for their soul shall not come into the house of Yahuwah. What will ye do in the solemn day, in the day of the feast of Yahuwah? For lo, they are gone because of destruction. Mitzrayim shall gather them up. Memphis shall bury them. The pleasant places for their silver nettles shall possess them. Thorns shall be in their tabernacles. The days of visitation are come, and the days of recompense are come, and Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. For the multitude of your iniquity and that and the great hatred. The watchman of uh, Ephraim. Hang on, and I've got a sleeping monitor here, friends. You know I don't hang on here. Alright, for some reason it's just dies out here. So let's go over to eight again, friends, here. Now the watchman of Ephraim was with my Elohim. But the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways, and hatred in the house of his Elohim. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Gevah, and therefore he will remember their iniquity. He will visit their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness, and I saw your fathers as the first stripe in the big uh, tree at her first time. But they went to Baal, Peor, had separated themselves unto that shame. and Their ab uh, abominations were according as they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird from the birth and from the womb and from the conception. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave, or bereave them? that there shall be or shall not be a man left, yea, woe also to them when I depart with uh, from them. Now Ephraim, as I saw uh, uh, to soar, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Give them, O Yahuwah, in verse 14, what will you give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breast. And that's in verse 11. All their wickedness is in Gilgal. For there I hated them for the wickedness of their doings. I will drive them out of my house. I will love them no more. All their princesses are revolters. Ephraim is smitten. Their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit. Yea, though they bring forth... Yet, and there goes my marks. All right, hang on, here, friends. Uh, yet will I slay even the beloved fruits of their womb. 
My Elohim will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. They shall be wanderings among the nations. Ah, oh, mercy, friends. I love this book. There's a lot in here, and there's a lot to study. Uh, so I guess, listen, friends, I think what we'll, I'll go ahead and do, because i got a little bit of time here. Uh, why don't I go ahead and just, uh, well, we'll stop at 11. How's that? I love this book, and I, I really want to get uh, get to this, uh, friends. You know, as I continue to, uh, you know, go into the Bible, friends. That's what we do here. Amen. All right. So, friends, we will stop at 11. I'll go ahead and give you a 10 right now. All right. Got a couple more quick notes here. All right. My friends, it is Tuesday morning. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Oh, we're, I'm on it, friends. I am on this message. Pastor with Rel here live. This morning, oh, we got time. Chapter 10, Yisrael. As I go over my notes here. Uh, is an empty vine. He brings forth fruit unto himself. According to the, to the multitude of his fruits, he has increased the altars according to the goodness of his land. They have made godly Im images. Their heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars. And he spoiled their images. Amen. All right, here, friends. Give me just a quick second. Uh... Got a little alteration I got to do real quick again. It's that uh, the pop filter for some reason. Uh, like I said, I I am blessed that we got these upgrades for sure. I am not complaining uh, at all, my friends. Uh, boy, am I just appreciative of that. Uh, so give me just a quick second. I'm gonna make a quick alternation alteration here and. Uh, Close out with chapter 10. I love this book. Uh, again, friends, I appreciate your time. And uh, thanks for being here, my friends. Amen. Chapter 10, we are going, friends. Now, let's go from two. Uh, multitude, fruit has increased their altars according to the goodness. Go back up to one. Of his land, they have made godly images. Verse 2. Their heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars. He shall spoil their images. For now they shall say, We have no king, because we feared not. Yahuwah, what then should a king do to us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely and making a covenant. Thus judgment springs up as... Uh, as hemlock under the furrows of the field. They, uh, the inhabitants of Shamaron shall fear because of the calves of Beit Aven. Uh, or Beit Aven. For the people therefore, or thereof, shall mourn over it, and the priests thereof that rejoiced in it for the glory thereof, because it is departed from it, it shall be also carried into Assyria for a present uh, to a uh, king, Yereb. Um, Ephraim, and I'm just trying to get over the, get through the words here, um, shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Shamarin, or Shamaran, his king is cut off as the foam upon the water. And the high places also of Evan, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. The thorn and the thistle shall come up in their altars. And they shall say to the mountains, Cover us! And to the hills, Fall on us! O Israel, you have sinned from the days of Givah. And there they stood, the battle in Givah, against the children of iniquity, did not overtake them. It is in my desire that I should chastise them. 
and the people shall be gathered against them when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows. And Ephraim is as a heifer that is taught and loves to tread out the grain. But I passed over upon her fair neck. I will make Ephraim to ride. Yehuda shall plow and Yaakov shall break his clods. Uh, so to yourselves in righteousness reap in mercy. Break up your fallow land or ground. For it is time to seek Yahuwah, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because ye trusted in your way, in the multitude of your mighty men. Therefore shall a tumult arise among your people, and all your fortress shall be spoiled as Shalman spoiled Bayat a rebel or Arbel in the day of battle. The mother has dashed was dashed into pieces upon her children. So shall Betel do unto you because of your great wickedness. In a morning shall the king of Israel utterly be cut off. Now that to me sounds like a warning, my friends. Uh, mercy. All right, well, I'm going to stop there, my friends. Uh, I've got uh, a few things i got to take care of tonight. Get ready for tomorrow's or today's podcast. I keep thinking. Uh, but uh, appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me. And uh, no troubles, my friends. Too blessed to be stressed. Uh, hold on to that good news word, friends, and I am glad you guys are here. I uh, appreciate your time again, friends. Worldwide live ministry podcast, Pastor Rick Rowley here live. Uh, we are blasting through the scriptures this morning, blasting through the notes. Uh, I think, what do I got? Uh, we got uh, 12, 13, and 14. So we got about three chapters left uh, in this book of oh, friends. You know what? Spirit just egged me on again. What do you know about that? So let me, uh, friends, let me go ahead and just do 11 and we'll close out with 12. And then we'll just finish that out today on the uh, next podcast here, friends. So it's a short one. There's only 12 verses here. Uh, I think you guys can handle it. Uh, a little after, uh, well, it's almost 2 o'clock here uh, in the Pacific Northwest uh, AM. Uh, I don't know. I was going to call this, uh, what, do you, what do you call this? Like a World Wildlife Ministry Podcast TV or ministry? I don't know. I just leave it to God. He'll, the Spirit will give me something to change it. But for now, that's what we're called. Amen. Well, that thing is still smoking, so I'm definitely going to have to do some repair on it. All right, friends, let's go ahead and just close out with chapter 11. I'll go ahead and read that. It's a short verse, or short scripture here. Uh, when Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Mitzrayim, as they called them. So they went from them. They sacrificed unto Baalim and burned incense to graven images. I taught Ephraim also to go, taking them up, or taking them by their arms. But they knew not that I healed them. I drew them with cords of a man, with bands of love. And it was to them as they that took, or take of the yoke on their jaws, and I laid meat unto them. He shall not return into the land of Mitzrayim. But the Assyrian shall be his king, because they refused to return and the sword shall abide in his cities and shall consume his branches and devour him or them because of their own counsels and my people are bent to backsliding from me though they called them to El Elyon none at all would exalt or would exalt him how shall I give you up Ephraim how shall I deliver you uh, Israel, how shall I take you as 
admire. How shall I set you up as Tisavat Yem? My heart is turned within me. My repentings are kindled together. I will not execute the fierceness of my anger. I will not return to destroy Ephraim, for I am El and not man, the Holy One in the midst of you. And I will not enter into the city. They shall walk after Yahuwah, and he shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar, then the children shall tremble from the west, and they shall tremble as a bird out of Mitzrayim, and as a dove out of the land of Assyria, and I will place them in their houses, says Yahuwah. Ephraim compasses me about with lies, and the house of Israel with deceits. But Jehuda yet rules with El, uh, and is faithful uh, with the Kadashim, or uh, I think that's the Kadashim or Kadashim. There you go. That's what it is. All right, friends. Now I'm going to stop uh, at uh, chapter 11, or chapter 12. We'll just finish this out later today. Now, I'm going to get on here on uh, YouTube, Block Talk Radio, and Anchor. I'm going to get on here at 4 o'clock, just a half an hour early, uh, just so that I can uh, you know, kind of close out my day earlier than 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, which I don't mind. I'm in the Word. I don't, I, it doesn't bother me a bit, friends. But uh, just because I want to, uh, you know, i got to finish this other message. i got to get this uh, scriptures out here. Uh, it's intense. And uh, I definitely need to uh, get it done. You know, uh, there's such a lot, uh, a lot left. And uh, oh, as I'm maneuvering my stuff around here, uh, so there's a, yeah, there's a lot, friends. It's a, just a really intense. A lot of, a lot of going back. I'm I'm digging up some more scriptures uh, that I'm actually going to pass on to you guys and and you know give them to you. Uh, as uh, you know, as I just continue to get these uh, messages out, and, uh, oh, it's good, friends. You're going to have a good time in the Bible, friends, as we take a look, uh, a deep look, uh, basically. Uh, hang on here, friends. I have to adjust real quick again. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into this and uh, i got to work on this, friends. Now I'm working on right now part seven, uh, new creation in Christ, a personal relationship with Jesus. And uh, part two, God's grace for you. So yeah, yeah, lots, lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff to work out, uh, friends. And uh, it's going to take some time, so, uh, but, yeah, so to, today, friends, join me live at uh, Block Talk Radio YouTube Live and our Anchor channel, and uh, we'll be continuing. I'll kind of close out a couple of scriptures, and then we'll go right on in, because uh, next, friends, after, we're going to go right straight into uh, Amos. So, lots to give you, friends, lots to share. Uh, amen. And uh, so let me get this message over here, my friends. That's it. It's a wrap. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, again as I am looking for Romans 3.22. All right. Is that it? 3.22. Now, let me close out, friends. Let My friends, let me, you know, I always got to give you a Bible scripture here. Romans 3, 22 through 24, out of the King James. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, to do all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Uh, Romans 10, 12. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And 25 is an extra scripture here, friends. Whom God hath set forth to be uh, 
through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. Amen, friends. Now that is your homework, and uh, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be on it, friends. Oh, I'm gonna be on it. Uh, amen. So again, friends, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor Rickerella here, late night, early morning. Uh, this is going to be our second service for the night, my friends. Uh, that's it. It's a wrap. Where is my church, my friends? (laughs) And there you go, friends. It's a wrap. Have a good morning. Good Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you, friends. And I appreciate your time. And, uh, yep, don't forget... A little bit earlier today, 4 o'clock this afternoon, friends, right here at, uh, well, at YouTube Live, along with, uh, we've got YouTube, Block Talk Radio, and Anchor, my precious friends. Tell your friends, share the messages, and, uh, oh, I appreciate you guys uh, so, so much. Have a good day, good night, good morning, wherever you're at, and uh, I'll see you soon, friends. Amen. Podbean, get the word out. Amen and all. Talk to you soon. All right, friends. Anchor Spreaker. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Spreaker. That's what I said. Well, you're always good. And I, I appreciate your time. Have a good night, friends. Amen, amen, and amen. And thanks again. <laughs>